pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good evening. I'm Jackson Courtney, and I'm your host for the 2021 Centennial High School Honors Night Ceremony. It's been a very difficult year for everyone, but tonight we would like to honor those who persisted and made the most of the opportunities given to them this year. To kick things off, please welcome Ms. Peart, representing the National Merit Finalists. Hello, my name is Hella Peart, and I am the Counseling Department Chair for Centennial High School. I will be recognizing our 2021 National Merit Finalist. The mission of the National Merit Scholarship Corporation is to recognize and honor academically talented students. In each annual National Merit Scholarship Program, about 50,000 academically talented high school students are honored, but only some 16,000 of them are named semi-finalists. Students who qualify as semi-finalists based on their performance on the PSAT are the only program participants who have the opportunity to advance to the finalist level and compete for the National Merit Scholarships. About 7,600 of the outstanding finalists will be chosen as Merit Scholarship. Winners in the 2021 competition from Centennial High School are the following. Declan Campbell and Anish Vallabhanini. These are our finalist National Merit recipients. Congratulations to both Declan Campbell and Anish Vallabhanini. Thanks, Ms. Peart. Next up is the PTSA Senior Service Scholarships. Good evening, my name is Mary Kay Hinkle and I had the privilege of serving as the committee chair for the PTSA Volunteer Scholarship Committee and we actually had four other folks on that committee as well. We had two Centennial teachers and two volunteers from the PTSA. What we like to do, especially because it's at the heart of the PTSA, is that the PTSA would not exist if we didn't have members and students who volunteered thousands of hours to make sure that Centennial is the best that it can be. And so this is one of our projects that we do every year and um, we offer it to all seniors and we have many, many applications that come in um, with different volunteer work that they've done. How we measure this is really taking a look at an essay that they have submitted which talks about what um, volunteer program they were with or what they were doing and how it really impacted their life, what volunteer programs they were part of, the diversity of it, and their leadership within it. As we read through all of these essays and um, the different activities that they were in, um, we were able to see that these volunteers that are students at Centennial have really volunteered in a very diverse way. So from in their community with homeless and veterans, or with other students and in the communities of their halls or with religious organizations. They've really just taken thousands and thousands of hours and committed it back into our community and we are so proud of them. We had three runners-ups and those runner-ups were Eliza Hitch, Sophie Laidlow, and Kyler Parker. The person who came in third place is Allie Feinstein. Um, the person who came in second place was Emmanuel LaMarche. And then our first place winner, she volunteered in a lot of different ways. One of the ways she volunteered was she did an IB month-long community service where she was working with a group called Home Stretch, where she actually put together a college um, database for um, families that are homeless and are not in stable situations so that they can understand how to go through the college process. And she also was a pen pal to detainees and seniors, and not just your typical pen pal. I know that lots of folks will do pen pals on a one-off, but she did this continuously for over two years and really impacted those folks that she was pen pals with. So she started a nonprofit called One More Breath, and it 
started when she was actually in sixth grade and she took a trip to Bolivia and saw how many people in that country and how poor they were. And so she started that organization really to raise money, to send money back to a small hospital there to help save children's lives who just didn't have the funds for those life-saving medical treatments. So she's really worked hard. She's a, a great example, and we're proud to give her the award for this year, and that is Maya Orthus. The Foundation for the Fine Arts purpose is to provide support for all of the fine arts departments, chorus, visual arts, drama, band, and orchestra, through both monetary and people power resources. Next up is the FFA Scholarship Award winners. Good evening, I am Jen Wunderlich, the president of the Centennials Foundation of the Fine Arts. Tonight, I am pleased to announce the recipient of Centennials Foundation of the Fine Arts Scholarship. The FFA is a nonprofit whose purpose is to support the fine arts departments of chorus, band, orchestra, theater, and visual arts here at Centennial. Each year, the FFA awards scholarships to senior members who demonstrate a passion for the arts and have participated within our programs through fine arts classes, extracurricular activities, and leadership roles. I am proud to announce this year we will be awarding $500 scholarships to five students that demonstrated to us their love of the arts and how it impacted their lives here at Centennial. Those winners are Eliza Hitch, Connor Johnson, Tamara McDuffie, Jack Southard, and Clancy Weaver. Congratulations to these outstanding students and the entire class of 2021. Fine Arts Diploma Seal recipients, Sarah Andrews, Brian Boizo, Brendan Gibson, Yasmeen Groves, Venla Harkinen, Eliza Hitch, Connor Johnson, Reese Johnson Rock, Tamara McDuffie, Amy Romani, Diane Salika, and Clancy Weaver. For outstanding performance in visual arts, Abigail Z <laughs> For outstanding performance in visual arts, Abigail Zeisenis, Lamar Gonzalez, Victoria Malden, Connor Johnson, Clancy Weaver, and Grace Miles. And now representing career technical in agriculture education, please welcome Ms. Robinson. Hello, I am Marie Robinson, the department chair for career and technical education. It is my honor to present the awards in our area. For AV Tech Level 1, Jack Jordan. AV Tech Level 2, Justin Jung. AV Tech Level 3, Sean Ussery. Film Studies, Jackson Courtney. Emergency Medical Responder, Elizabeth Powell. Essentials of Healthcare, Michael Kakaska. Introduction to Healthcare Science, Daryl Bassett. Allied Health and Medicine, Jade McHaney. Medical Internship, Anna Gerard. Foundations of Engineering, Mason DeWitt. Engineering Concepts, Cooper Harville. Engineering Applications, Jake Anderson. Introduction to Digital Technology, Will Cook. Computer Science Principals, Carlos Suarez. Work-Based Learning, Dylan Paget. Programming Games, Apps and Society, Aiden Scott. Principals of Accounting, Tristan Shearer. Financial Literacy, Alexander Winokur. Banking, Investing and Insurance, Rahil Harana, Introduction to Business and Technology, Gabriella Roberts, Game Design, Ryan Salmon, AP Computer Science A, Rowan Holcomb, AP Computer Science Principals, Nicholas Lipke, Introduction to Law, Micah Rowe, Criminal Justice Essentials, Manuel Rojas Morales, Forensic Science, Karen Castellanos, JROTC, Level 1, Vivian Sego, Level 2 for JROTC, Jacqueline Bacchino, for Level 3, JROTC, 
Alexandra Swan for JROTC Level 4, Samuel Navarro. For JROTC's Esprit de Corps, Alan Marks. JROTC Leadership, Valletta Carpenthal. For Food and Nutrition, we have Michael Cerna de Jesus. For Food for Life, Harper Hughes. And for Food Science, Rashad Mohammed. Those are our recipients. The ID department's goal is to provide our students with the best high school experience possible, providing an academically enriched experience while developing daily life skills for their post-secondary plans. Um, hi, I'm Scott Hamilton. I'm the department chair for the ID department here at Centennial High School. I'm very pleased to announce this year's awards winners for our department. First off, we have Camille Flewellen, outstanding English student. Leland Ellerby, outstanding social studies student. Nia Pinnock, outstanding math student and Benji Amistall, outstanding science. Um, congratulations to all these students who have gone through a tough year but made it out and done great things. Well, I appreciate your effort in our classes. Thank you very much. And now, representing the... Oh, sorry. sorry, I just printed this bad boy out testing. Now, representing the Makerspace, please welcome Dr. Heath. Hi, this is Dr. Heath. I'm here to give our honors for the Learning Commons. We have two awards. One is for our Learning Commons aid. These are students that come and help us in the Learning Commons with shelving books, giving us ideas for books. They do reviews for the books as well. This year we want to honor Romy Andre. She has been with us two years working in the Learning Commons, but she has also worked in our Makerspace. She's a great attribute to the Learning Commons. She really enjoys reading and she's actually gotten into doing book folding, making designs out of old books. Our second award is for the Makerspace, known as the Space here at Centennial. Our honor goes to Aiden McConnell who has been one of our Space Cadets here and he has been a great tribute to the Makerspace as well. He has worked on his own, learning different tools, but he's also worked with um, making repairs on our laser cutter, took the initiative to call the company and make those repairs on his own. And he has come in every year and does this great thing of making all of his Christmas presents for his family within the Makerspace. So we would like to honor both of those students this year. And now, representing health and PE, please welcome Coach O'Sullivan. Hello, my, I am Coach O'Sullivan, uh, here representing the Physical Education Department. Uh, this year's awards for our department go to Gavin Conley, Health, and Daniel Max, Personal Fitness. Go Knights! The ESOL's department's mission is to enable limited English proficient students to become competent in the comprehension, speaking, reading, and composition of the English language through integrated use of second language methods. Good evening. I'm Susan Zobe, the department chair for our English language learners department. As we approach the end of the school year, we look back at all the hard work of our ELL students and find that they all have worked hard this year. So it made the decision of who stood out and who should be our honor award recipients this year a little bit hard. All of the ESOL teachers met and discussed and we have selected the following for this distinction for this year. In language arts, Franco Alejandro Oliveira Anton. In math, Aurora Gomez. In science, Melina Nicardo. And in social studies, Gladys Souza Artello. Congratulations to each of you. You've come. And now I must go. Go and come back to and fro. Pan do. Landro. Now representing the Fine Arts Department, please welcome Ms. Landro. This year's recipient of the United States Marine Corps Semper Fidelis Award for Music is Joseph Fish Brosmer. For outstanding performance in chorus, Spencer Kahn. Zoli Berensky, Jeannie Goldstein, Stacy Serna, Skyla Stockard, Kirsten Hall, Holly Baratian, and Elizabeth Ishikova. 
for Outstanding Performance in Orchestra, Samia Saeed, Jacob Schauer, Kira Doppel, Anaya Tucker, Hannah Pinnock, Deborah Martins, Harrison Goldstein, and Georgia Warren. For Outstanding Performance in Band, Justin Jung, Ethan Campbell, Colin Kennedy, Gabriela Rodriguez, Daniel Sarungbi, and Margaret Watson. <sighs> Just got done with my IB project. What is IB again? I think it's like International Baccalaureate, I want to say. Oh, dude, you know my ex-girlfriend does IB. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah, yeah, we haven't talked in years. Oh, my God. Insane. Oh, um, now representing the IB department, please welcome Miss Marbury. Good evening, I'm Amanda Marbury, one of the art teachers here at Centennial High School. The International Baccalaureate Outstanding Student for 2021 is going to Venla Harkonnen. Venla fully exemplifies the IB student profile. She is a hardworking and caring student, full of curiosity and very balanced in her different pursuits. She is knowledgeable and actively seeks to further that knowledge. She's open-minded and reflective. She will listen to other perspectives and consider them against her own views. Venla is the model of an IB student and more than deserving of this award. AVID is a class that focuses on giving students the tools they need to succeed in college and beyond. That includes organization, skills to gain a deeper understanding of academic concepts, and forming stronger relationships with yourself and others. Good evening. I'm Ms. Feruzzi and I teach AVID here at Centennial. I am so pleased to announce that our 2020-2021 AVID Student of the Year is Senior Ryan Bolton. Ryan is one of the most empathetic and conscientious students that I have ever had the pleasure of teaching. He is a wonderful communicator, he's always engaged in all of his classes, and he's always supporting his peers. Ryan is incredibly active in our Centennial community, and one of the things that I most respect about him is his willingness to challenge himself and step out of his comfort zone just to take on a challenge. It has been a lovely experience to teach Ryan during his senior year, and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you and know that you're going to Georgia State next year, and I'm just so excited for you. Wish you all the best. Congratulations. A continuación, tenemos le premios del Departamento de Idiomas del Mundo. Notre école propose l'allemand, l'espagnol et le français. Awesome, thank you. Here's Andy. <laughs> Here's Andy <Enrique> Kevinar. <laughs> is that, oh, is it recording? Yes. Oh, that's so fun. I'm trying to speak German. I don't know German. Here's Andy Kevinar. Here's Andy Kevinar. Good evening. I am Raquel Martinez, the Department Chair for World Languages, and it is my honor to recognize the following outstanding students for the different languages in our department. This was very difficult as each teacher could choose only one among many wonderful students we have had this year. Frau McCarty's Student of the Year for German is Skyler DeWitt. Madame Wiesendanger's Student of the Year for French is Sophia Laidholt. My, Ms. Assi's Student of the Year is Ryan Warman. Ms. Salazar's Student of the Year for Spanish is Madison Pearson. Mr. Acosta's Student of the Year is Olivia Bow. Ms. Potter's Student of the Year is Harrison Goldstein. Ms. Araujo's Student of the Year is Jay Sean Hill. Mr. Franco's Student of the Year is Juliana Hitch. My Student of the Year is Sydney Wheeler. By Literacy Seal is awarded to students who not only excel in English, but who also have earned a four or a five in a World Language Advanced Placement exam. This year, we recognize the following students who have earned the seal prior to their senior year. For French, Elliot Bell. For Spanish, Emmanuel Lamarge, Elliot Bell, Diego Perez, Alejandro Arias, Luz Corral, Naomi Gutierrez, Alexia Rodriguez, Gladys Sosa, Jose Villalobos, Carlos Suarez, Catalin May, and Maria Martinez. The International Skills Diploma Seal is awarded to graduating high school students who complete an international education curriculum and engage in extracurricular activities and experiences that foster the achievement of global competencies. This year, we are proud to recognize seven outstanding graduates who have earned the International Skills Diploma Seal. Those students are Skylar DeWitt, Venla Harkonnen, 
Emmanuel Lamarche, Maria Martinez, Maya Orthus, Grace Sally, and Sidney Wheeler. The committee also selects one representative ISDS candidate as our school star ISDS graduate due to outstanding achievement and a wonderful capstone presentation. Centennial High School recognizes Maya Orthus as our ISDS star student for 2021. Congratulations to all these outstanding world language students. Okay, 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 I, I, I figured it out. Now representing the math department, Coach Kroll. Good evening, my name is Zach Kroll and I'm the mathematics department chair here at Centennial High School. It's my honor to present the following awards for honors night in the field of mathematics. For Algebra 1, Alexandra Burton. For Accelerated Algebra 1 Geometry, Will Cook. For Geometry, Jacqueline Cano. For Honors Geometry, uh, Durrell Bassett Jr. For Accelerated Geometry, Olivia Hazelwood. For Algebra 2, Rashad Muhammad. For Honors Algebra 2, Victor Capuro. For Precalculus, Carlos Suarez Barrera. For Honors Precalculus, Alden Lehman. For Accelerated Precalculus, Micah Rowe. For Math of Industry and Government, Yasmin Groves Young. For Advanced Mathematical Decision Making, Dylan Paget. For AP Statistics, Emmanuel LaMarche. For Calculus, Preston Shermeyer. For AP Calculus AB, Rowan Holcomb. For AP Calculus BC, Kristen Obajeski. And for IB Math, Maya Orthos. And finally, it is my honor to present the award for Outstanding Mathematics Student to Kristen Obajeski. Thank you so much. Congratulations to everyone, and go Knights. Jackson. 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 Oh, oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just getting so into this book. This is like, it, it's Stephen King. You can't. And now for English, Miss Rains. Good evening, Centennial. My name is Ariel Rains. I am the English department chair and also an AP Lit and 11th grade English teacher. And I'm going to be announcing the winners for the English department honors award recipients. So we'll start with ninth grade. Um, ninth grade literature honors. The winner is Sanaya Palmer. For ninth grade literature on level, it's Daryl Bassett Jr. For 10th grade literature, we have 10th grade honors, Daniel Campos Vargas. And 10th grade world literature honors goes to Addison Gaddy. For 10th grade literature on level, the winner is Karis Eccleston. Moving on to 11th grade, we have 11th grade literature honors. The winner is Aaron Blank. And 11th grade literature on level, Santiago Mesquera Arenas. For AP language, the winner is Marissa Charlotte. And for AP literature, the winner is Eliza Hitch. For IB Lang and Lit Year One, Molly Cavanaugh. For IB Lang and Lit Year Two, Christopher Rayom. For 12th grade World and Multicultural Literature, the winner is Amina Akosa. For Yearbook, Brooklyn Oxley. For the TAG Directed Study Class, the winner is Kyler Parker. For the TAG Internship, Emmanuel LaMarche. And finally, the overall outstanding English student is Rowan Holcomb. Congratulations. Wow. Now, representing the science department, please welcome Coach Wiegand. Good evening, I'm Patrick Wiegand. I'm the science department chair here at Centennial High School, and I'd like to announce the award winners in science for the 2020 slash 2021 school year. First of all, in biology, we have Christian Olea Esperanza. For honors bio, we have Amber Hitchens. In physical science, we have Julianne Lowe. For chemistry, Jillian Strickland. For chemistry honors, we have Lauren Larson. For environmental science, we have Alexandria Swan. 
for physics, Emiko Roby. In Earth Systems, Miss Nadia Johnson. In Astronomy, Logan Busby. For Anatomy and Physiology, Evan Albright. For Forensics, Kirsten Strickland. For AP Environmental Science, Samuel Navarro Ayala. For AP Biology, Juliana Hitch. For AP Physics 1, we have Daniel Max Onapoya. In AP Physics 2, we have Andres Rubio. For AP Physics Ski C, we have Skylar DeWitt. And earning the award for Outstanding Science Fair Performance with fourth honors at the Science Fair is Anika Chala and Bodana Vera Makanini. And finally, our Outstanding Senior in Science is Mr. Radeen Dixon. And now, the Nations of the World brought to you again by Jackson Courtney. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru. Republic Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, too. Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still. Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil. Costa Rica, Belize, Nicaragua. Yo, is he really going to do this whole thing? No idea. And now, representing the Social Studies Department, please welcome Mr. Hennessy. Good evening, everyone. My name is Macklin Hennessy. I am the Social Studies Department Chair here at Centennial, and I will be presenting our Honors Knights Awards for the Social Studies Department. For World History, Nicholas Southard. For World History Honors, Harrison Goldberg. For United States History, Mason Ray. For Government, Carlos Suarez Barrera. For Economics, William Bushy. For Sociology, Maya Henson. For AP Human Geography, Grace Sally. For AP World History, Emily Severo. For AP United States History, Jennifer Mendoza Mello. For AP Psychology, Lane Schmidt. For AP Economics, Evan McKinney. For IB History of the Americas, Avery Shipp. For AP Government, Ali Feinstein. Our Phi Beta Kappa Book Award goes to Aidan Maltby. Our Award of Distinction for Model United Nations goes to Amin Puri. And our Outstanding Social Studies Student goes to Mehar Namani. Congratulations to all. And now for the Centennial High School Principal Awards. The Honor Award. The Centennial High School Honor Award. This award is presented to a student who has the diligence and determination to push themselves to new heights. They have a strong work ethic and live their life with honor. The attributes they possess truly inspire others and will propel, propel them into the future for success. Our Centennial High School Honor Award goes to Jackson Courtney. The Courage Award. The Centennial High School Courage Award. This award is presented to a senior who, despite life's obstacles, perseveres and shines as a well-rounded student. Through courage, determination, and resiliency, this student excelled and set an example for their peers that with hard work and a positive outlook, anything and everything is possible. Our Centennial High School Courage Award goes to Marissa Fish. The Scholarship Award. The Centennial High School Scholarship Award. This award is presented to a student who has achieved academically despite the obstacles they've encountered. They encourage their classmates, participate in athletics, and are very active in the community. The Centennial High School Scholarship Award is awarded to Samuel Navarro. Centennial Star Student and Teacher. The Page Student Teacher Achievement Recognition Program honors Georgia's highest achieving high school seniors and teachers who have been most instrumental in their academic development. Every accredited high school 
in Georgia is eligible to participate in this permanent student, teacher, and academic recognition. Since its creation in 1958 by the Georgia Chamber of Commerce, the STAR Student, Student Teacher Achievement Recognition Award program has honored nearly 28,000 students. Centennial High School is proud to announce that our STAR Student for this year is Declan Campbell, and our STAR Teacher is our own Dr. Koming Shi. Congratulations, Declan Campbell as our star student and Dr. Koming Shi. Thank you. Teacher and Professional of the Year. Our Centennial High School Teacher of the Year is Ariel Rains. Our Professional of the Year is Melissa Freeman. The Top 25 and Salutatorian and valedictorian. I have the pleasure of introducing you to our top 25 students. Number 25, Eliza Hitch. Number 24, Maxwell Buckingham. Number 23, Taylor Graham. Number 22, Evan Sigatavowski. Number 21, William Bushy. Number 20, Charles Weiner. Number 19, Carlos Suarez Barrera. Number 18, Anish Balabanini. Number 17, Bodana Veramachanini. Number 16, George Cave. Number 15, Holden Rohrer. Number 14, Wilson Williams. Number 13, Skylar DeWitt. Number 12, Zaid Mahini. Number 11, Vinla Harkonnen. Number 10, Madeline Singletary. Number 9, Amon Puri. Number 8, Maggie Nolan. Number seven, Evan McKinney. Number six, Declan Campbell. Number five, Sophia Laidhold. Number four, AJ Pendy. Number three, Sydney Wheeler. Our salutatorian for the class of 2021 is Anika Chalwa. Our valid Victorian for the class of 2021 is Emmanuel LaMarche. Congratulations to all of our students. Well, that's it for tonight's ceremony. I want to thank you again for tuning in and congratulations to everyone who was mentioned in today's video. And for my fellow graduating seniors, Best of luck, because remember, once a night, always a night. Our best days are ahead.